on the camera shoot, and so I need to put my battery in. I'm going to open up this door to the L LCD screen. I'm going to take my battery, and I am going to put it in on the right side first, and then rock it in, and then it's in nice and snug. To turn it on, you open the LCD screen, and here's the on-off switch. It's off. Just press it, and it goes on. There are three basic modes. Slideshow mode with an arrow. Camera mode, which is camcorder mode where you're filming. That's the middle notch. And still shots. The thing you're going to use most of the time is the middle setting, which is record camcorder mode. The next thing you need to check is your resolution. Click on the left side here, and we're going to go to our menu. And you can see that it says manual. That's good. What I also want to do is check my basic settings. So I'm going to go to menu and I'm going to go to record setup <clears throat> and record mode. We want to be at the first one here, ABCHD HA 1920. 1920 refers to the frame size. So we want it to be at 1920 pixels for the Hiki Now. So it's the top setting on the left. So once you're sure that's correct, you can return. Media Select. Okay, right now we're going to the hard drive inside the camera. So make sure you're on SD card for both, for still shots and video. Press enter and those settings have been saved. Kikino prefers that you use manual settings and that is this button right here. If you press this, you'll see it says A there. That means autofocus. Press it again and now it says MNL, manual. The main thing is the focusing in on your, on your subject. So what you're going to do to focus in is you set it to manual and then you zoom all the way in. So I'm going to zoom all the way into these books to the maximum zoom and then I'm going to go to the front here and I'm going to turn this. And that's going to do a fine tuning of my focus. I want to get those words on those books. Okay, I'm, I'm focused and now I can zoom out and continue my recording and start recording. So now I'm going to press the record button. Now I feel like I'm focused in. And you see a red dot appear, meaning you're recording. I'm going to press the record button, pause. Another thing you might need is to adjust the white balance. <clears throat> on your menu is WB. You would click on that and this is where you would adjust it. For sunlight, and there's different settings, whether you're outside or inside, or you could have automatic white balance right there. But it's on this menu right here if you need to do that. If you're going to be shooting a sporting event you, or something like that, you might want to change the shutter speed. And that is also on the menu right here. And here it's 160, which is the oh. norm. But if you're going to do a sporting event, you might want to change the shutter speed so you can catch the actions. If everything seems too dark and you don't have enough light, you can also adjust the iris. So you click on your menu. Think of it as like an, the levels that your eye is picking up, but your camera here is the eye. So you can open it or close it. So it's getting darker here, and now it's letting in more light. So that's something else you might need to adjust. This is your wireless lavalier microphone. And as you can see, it has one, two, three, four, five parts. So when you put it away, count your parts. Now, this part here with the antenna is what goes closest to the camera. Now let me just show you how that works. You need it to be close. <clears throat> so a nice way of doing it is to just put this belt clip through that strap. There. 
Now the wiring. You take this, and the output from here goes into mic out. And then the input, you're going into the camera, and the input port is MIC. This is going to pick up the signal from your subject of your video. <clears throat> and so what you're going to do is give them this microphone and they need to hide it and you can assist them but you'd be sensitive because if it's a woman you'll probably give it to her and say could you just drop this through your shirt we need to hide it and <clears throat> the person can clip it in it should be facing up towards their mouth so sometimes with their clothing, you can hide it pretty nicely. If you can't hide it, you might want to get some tape to tape it to their, their chest. Once it's hidden, you can take the other end and plug it in to this second half and it says mic input. This has to be turned on and there's two channels A or B if it's on A here it should be on A here so that's the two channels power must be on see a red light come on and then have the person put it in a discreet place this part needs to be on you'll see the light come on you want to make sure that you're getting the sound through this camera that you think you're getting. And that's where the sound person comes in who's gonna monitor it. This is an earbud. You can use your own headphones. You plug the earbud into the camera headphone port. There's actually a little icon of a headphone there. And then you take the earbud and you'll have somebody else besides the recorder probably checking, monitoring that sound and making sure the sound is clear. And when you start recording, you will hear everything coming through here. And testing, whoa. one, two, three. Yes, definitely okay? working. When you put this away, <clears throat> make sure you turn it off. That'll save the transistor battery that's in there. These things come with transistor batteries. They last a long time. But let's remember to turn it off because we don't want to go out on a shoot with low batteries. I'm putting in the SD card. This is where your clips are going to get saved. There is internal storage in the camera, but the ideal is to have it saved on here. Open the LCD door. Open this little door. Take your card. The notch is on the side here. Face up. Put it in. Face up. And close it, and you're ready to go. Now, you're finished filming, you've turned off the camera, and you're ready to take the card out. Open this door, open this, put the card back in the plastic box with your other supplies for your group, because this is your card. Each group has two batteries, so it's a good thing to have both charging when no one is using the camera. That way, you can take an extra battery with you if you need one on a long shoot. You can recharge this battery in the camera by opening up this little door here and plugging in the AC adapter. The red light will come on and it will start blinking. That means the battery is charging. In order to use the battery charger, what you do is you take the battery and you line these grooves up with these gold pins and you put the battery in the middle of this charger and then you drag it to the right until you see the green light come on. When it's finished charging, the light will go off.